Hey guys, so here's the thing. I've actually done this video three times. So the first time I recorded it, it didn't go through, and the second time I recorded it, um, the audio was really off. It was really bad, actually. There we go. It's a little better. So, um, again, this is my review for the Lime, Cli Lime Crime Carousel Gloss in Candy Apple. I put it back in its box so we could see. Here it is in its little box. It's very shiny and metallic -y. It's made of, you know, thin cardboard. The sort of thing you'd see any sort of makeup in. And, uh, taken out of its box. Here it is. Ugh, hold it in front of me more. Here it is. It's got these, uh, plastic swirlies, which I've noted are... They're both made out of pretty good, you know, plastic. At the top, the little unicorn is engraved in. If I hide the glare, maybe you can see it. No. Okay. Anyway, it's got the little unicorn on it. Um, it's got the plastic swirls on the tube. And on the little lid, it just says, uh, Lime Crime on it. You can't really see that all that well. So, there we go. And it says Carousel Gloss in here. And on the bottom, of course, it says Candy Apple. You, you'll never be able to see that. So, um... I can't really decide if this is cute or awful. It's kind of cute to me because it reminds me of those play makeup sets that she, that I would get when I was, you know, seven or eight from like Walmart or what have you. It's a little bit nostalgic, but also I kind of think it's a little, it's also a little large for a lip gloss too. I don't usually buy wand glosses, but I have a mascara here and this is a mascara tube. It's about the same size as a mascara tube, so it's kind of big. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. It could mean there's more product in there. I actually couldn't be able to tell you how much it was in here just because I can't really see through the swirls. But for comparison, for texture, I have a MAC Dazzle Gloss. And I also just have regular um, CVS makeup wipes to test how much it stains and how much it sticks. I didn't actually do that in the last one, so maybe it's a good thing I'm doing it again. So, anyway, as far as I can tell from looking at the packaging, it looks like a really pigmented, shimmery red gloss. I'd actually probably wear this kind of thing. You know, holidays coming up and all, there's an excuse to wear a lot of red. So, once you open it, pull it out. It smells a little bit of vanilla in the same way that MAC smells of vanilla. Oop, don't drip on my keyboard. Now, one thing I noticed in the last videos that I really, really, really hated was this applicator. It looks like a sponge applicator. It's actually brushes. Uh, bristles. It's actually a brush applicator. But it's a very, very short brush. Compared to the MAC, for example, here, um, just a totally different color, it's a much longer applicator, and the brushes I mentioned in my last attempt at this are much softer, so it makes the application a little bit easier. So I'm going to swatch them both on my hand, and uh, actually I literally just washed my hand, so this is going to be really clean. So we're going to do the MAC one first, just because we're a little bit more familiar with MAC. So... Just drawn a little line on my hand. This color is actually very sheer with not a whole lot of shimmer, but the texture is very nice. I've actually had this color for a while, so it doesn't smell of vanilla anymore, unfortunately. And now we're going to do the Lime Crime Gloss. It's going to go on top of that one. And you can't really see it from the swatch, unfortunately, due to the quality of my web camera. But it's actually nicely pigmented, but it is very sticky. And um, the shorter brush becomes a problem when you try to actually put it on your lips. So, take a look at that. Due to the brush being so small, you actually need a lot. Like, if I just took one swipe and tried to get on my lips like this, it just kind of draws you a line. And you can, you know mumble your lips about, but it gives you a really uneven distribution. It looks very splodgy. I'm actually gonna get a mirror out of my kit to go look at myself. Ooh, that is awful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with just one little um, swatch here, I had to wipe some off of my fingers. Oh no. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, so this is what it looks like with one. You can't really tell, but it's actually pretty sheer. It gives you a nice little tint, but it actually, the tint uh, kind of looks like a deep watermelon pink. Like a very deep watermelon pink if you use just the one swipe. Um, so I'm actually going to count how many swipes I need after I get it off my fingertips. 
to get it to be that bright red color on the web page. So we're going to do that now that my fingers are clean. I didn't actually do this in my last test, so it is a blessing in disguise. I prop up my little mirror so I can see. Okay, here's two. Right, rub it all over. Mash my lips together. Okay, it's deepening now. I'm still getting that watermelon pink color. Just not what I want. Apply to the top lip this time. Har har har. This three. Okay, I'm starting to get there. I'm now. I'm seeing a definite red in my bottom lip. The top lip, not yet. Um, that could just be the way I put it on. So I'm gonna safety. I'm gonna safety it one more. Whoa! I almost got on my jeans. That could have been unfortunate. Okay, it took me four to get close to, um, checking a bigger mirror, um, to get the results that are on the website. And even then, it's not quite the same. I should probably block, so I'm just getting it on my teeth. Um, so that's actually quite a lot of passes you need to do. And, um, this is a very sticky gloss. It's very pretty on. I actually really like this color on me. It's really nice. It's a very tacky gloss, and I can tell right away it does not have any staying power. If I take a drink, oh, I can take a drink. Ugh, what have I got here? I have got some rose moscato in a bottle. Take a drink, I'm gonna see how much I leave behind. You can't see it here, but on top of the bottle, I've now got a sort of rim of my gloss. So I can already tell this is not going to have very good staying power for the night. This is going to show up on, you know, your wine glass, it's going to show up on your coffee cup, it's going to kind of show up everywhere. You're going to need to reapply sometime throughout the night, which is a little, you know, it's a little unfortunate. The good thing is, I just took a drink out of a bottle, so you can't actually see that it's gone anywhere. But, you know, if you're going out to dinner, it's probably going to rub all off on you. And like I mentioned before, it is very sticky gloss, so if you were like me and you wear your hair down, it might blow up in your lips and, oh, I just got a piece of my lips, and it might get stuck there. And so now I have my little makeup wipey here, and we're going to see how well it comes off. First, I'm going to get off my hands. Okay, the MAC Dazzle Glass came right off. This left behind a little stain. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, it's coming off nicely on the towelette, though. I think it's a mirror image to this thing. I keep forgetting. I'm so challenged sometimes. I'm going to do it in my mirror. Okay. Alright, I whipped it all off with a CVS makeup wipe. So it's, you know, it's nothing super fancy. Or pass for good luck. And some still came off after the initial pass, so, uh. And I can tell by looking in my mirror that my lips are definitely darker than they were when I put this stuff on, so it stained my lips. Not a lot where it's like, oh my gosh, you're wearing yesterday's makeup, but I notice. Yeah, it, oh, it's still coming off. It's still coming off. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Awful, awful. Okay. I do not want to be this hard out of getting my makeup off. Okay. Okay. The most of it's come off, but, um... I love my little towely, and it looks very staining, so I'm gonna make sure to fold that the inside. I'm gonna try to scrub my hand a little bit. It's not coming off my hand. It's okay. It's actually you look at my hand, but you can't really see it at all, so that's not terrible. But I did rub my lips pretty dry, unfortunately. So I'm honestly gonna say that this is probably extremely staining. I wouldn't want to get this on anything white or anything pastel for that matter. So take a drink for luck. So, let me see. The Dazzle Gloss came right off. And it primarily came off, but there is some staining power. It could just be because of the color. Red is also a very staining color, and the Luster Glass I used is sort of a sheer purpley color. So that could just be, you know, the nature of the beast. I don't have another 
point of comparison for you, so I couldn't tell you. I have some red lipsticks, and those generally come off better, but those are a completely different formula than a lip gloss, so that could also just be what that is. So just, you know, a little recap. Um, it's a nice color. It eventually will do what it's supposed to do in terms of the pigmentation and the coloring. You need to layer it on a couple times. One layer is not going to do it. And, oh, I forgot to mention the applicator. That is awful. That short little brushy applicator, if I'd actually been trying to paint my lips on, that would have taken me forever. Um, I could probably show you that. See how long it takes if I'm actually going to just use the product on the brush. Because it's such a small little brush that doesn't really get a whole lot of product on it. So, like... Yeah, I'm already out of product. And that's how much I've done. So... I mean, that half a painted lip. Though I do say, looking at my big mirror, that does give you a much better color payoff, but you'll kind of be at it for a while trying to put your gloss on if you're doing it that way. So honestly, good pigmentation. It does what it's supposed to do after a few layers of buildup, but the applicator is terrible, and um, it does not just go on with one single swipe. You'd probably do better to layer a lipstick underneath it and paint on top of it, which if you just want to put one coat... But it's very sticky, very tacky, and I do not imagine there's a whole lot of staying power. It came right off of my wine bottle. It'll probably come off when you're eating, when you're drinking, when you're out. It'll stain anything you get it on. But it does look nice while it's in place, so maybe if you're going to use something like this gloss, I'd probably just recommend using it for like a photo shoot, or just if you're going out, or for, you know, holiday pictures, or some nicer setting where you know you're not going to be doing a whole lot of activity with your mouth, smoking, eating, drinking maybe not even a lot of talking because it got on my teeth I also didn't blot so yeah there's the long and short of it Lime Crimes Carousel Gloss in Candy Apple back in this little boxy going into my kit along with my makeup wipes are going to stay there so yeah if you have any questions or I heard the weirdest noise <laughs> if you have any questions or comments let me know in the little comment section down there and uh, yeah there's my carousel glass review.